And eventually we're getting to our internal moderator report. As you can see, it's a free document that's available from Tanya Can. Uh, as long as you keep our logo uh, and our artwork on there, uh, any, any person can use that. On the moment, we can see we're with version number uh, 41, and you'll see that we also update uh, this. Okay, so the first document that you can see is a total of 11 pages here. Um, you know, just to tell us about the copyright, just to say anyone is welcome to use this. And uh, on the front, you know, some detail about the training person and the contact. Um, and obviously, it's going to be internal. Um, this is the different from on site. On site is where you're actually sitting in with the assessor. Off site is where you get it and you, you do it in the comfort of your own home, you know, just looking at the documents. You see these drop downs again. Just make sure that you, down, you open this document with Acrobat Reader, it's free software and not through Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. So if you if you can't get it right, can't go help this, we will help you. You will, I want to see this this uh, options here on the right. If you don't see that, then I, I don't think you've got the correct software and it's freeway again. Purpose of moderation again, drop down there. As a previous video, I've uh, given you a couple of uh, reasons, uh, you know, why you would want to do or why a training provider would ask you to do it. Um, but I think the, the generic will be CETA verifications. That's more what uh, most of the people do. Then a method of moderation, again, there's a couple of methods that you can pick from. It can be statistical, you know, when the CETA asks you to moderate 30% to 50% of all assessments, that's all statistical. Um, and I think uh, panel and stuff is all for the different type of industries, but you're also able to change it there to your own. So you can actually take that option and change it to your own made method. Okay, so I'm going to go through these. This is going to help you to plan again for your moderation by answering this yes or no. Because remember, we're still with the planning. I need to find out what to ask the training provider to give to me before I can even start. So the first one is ask the learning content sample required. Do you need a copy of the learning material? Well, if it's for verification, certification, I don't think so. So I'm not going to ask for it unless you want it, but I, I don't need it. Maybe the delivery of the rollout plan. Yes, I might want to ask that. You know how to roll it out. It's different from a private training provider to the college. It's me the schedule or, you know, how did you plan this? Number three, portfolio of evidence and assessment pack. Um, yes, I am going to, for verifications and certifications, I'm definitely going to ask for, you know, the portfolio and where the assessor done the actual assessment. That I want to see, yes. Matrix matching the assessment criteria and the assessment instrument, yes. Uh, the CETA will always ask that also with verifications to show how the unit standard assessment criteria was covered in the portfolio and, you know, an assessment guide. Just to make sure you've got all the unit standard assessment criteria and critical cross field and rain statements all covered. So they should be able to give you that by standard. Uh, if you want, if you if, if it's new for you, you can ask for the model answers, you know, or the guide that the assessors used to to assess this. The training providers assessment policy, that is something else that you would want to look at. Uh, I'm not dealing with RPL in the moment. So if you do with RPL, I can ask for it, but I'm not going to ask for the policy because I, according to me, I don't need it. The training provider's appeals policy, I don't really need it because um, this is not an appeal, it's a verification. But if you want to ask for it, uh, say yes in there. Um, assessor's admin um, code of conduct, if you need proof where the assessor was actually, you know, have a contract with the company and uh, signed a, a, a code of conduct, um, you know, and have a valid letter from the theater to say that the registration with the theater is still valid. Yes, yes, yes. Put a yes in there. Statistical for assessment review. We're not going to really work with this one. That is when you want to, you know, check different assessors' performance with each other. Um, reviewing of previous moderation reports. Yes, very important. We always forget about that. So maybe a previous moderator picked up something and they said, listen here, next time you move moderation, please make sure you fix these things. So yes, that's some, definitely something that I want to look at. 
um, ask for that and train providers accreditation yes i must make sure that the training providers actually accredited and they even have a letter from the theater that's still valid because you know these letters expires after every three years okay so um how soon should that uh, you know these things that you want here um how quickly must it be given to you how quickly the training provider wants feedback who can you contact for for you know for, uh, to, to get these things. So that this document here, is this gonna help us? This first page here, is this there to help us to identify what to actually ask from the training provider? So I know I'm gonna send them a nice email or a letter. There I can see my yeses and then include all my yeses in that letter. So the training provider is gonna get this email. They're gonna prepare all the documents. Either you're gonna go and um, moderate it on their premises or you're gonna go and pick it up, whatever is the arrangement. So page number one only helps us with what to ask the training for, provider for in our planning states. So our actual moderation only starts here on page number two. There's our internal moderator report. And obviously, for you know, for every single assessment, we need the details of the provider and the learner. I'm not going to go through it. I think it's very straightforward. The unit standard that's that is the details, you know, from the eights and actually uh, learner. So page number one, you will only do once, and then page number from page number two to eleven, you will do for every single uh, file that you that you moderated. Then on page number three, we can see is the assessment plan, and basically this this 5.1 um i think they go to 5.6 if i'm not mistaken 5.1 deals with everything on the assessment around the assessment plan and the pre-arrangements now i haven't done in a, in a, in a moderation for a long time you know you forget some of the stuff so there here these things here is there's tips it's not that you must do it it's tips and ideas to look for so if you're scared you miss something go through these tips because, you know, they, they tell you this, you know, if you're looking at assessments, plan and pre-arrangements, you should find these things in there. And there's a lot extra stuff here. So this, you know, it's, it's just like a, a bit of a review. So here I can see the column, uh, my response going here. Now, again, um, let me just fix that there. Now, also remember, you put your positive and your negative uh, again, you know, and here we can say it's acceptable or I have some recommendations or there's some concerns or you can change this, you know, overall. So this one here, 5.1, only deals with the assessment plan and pre-arrangements. The next one is only going to deal with the assessment guide, how it was actually structured. The third one here evidence you know the evidence collected from the learner so we're taking this in a bit of a different form um number four the assessment record sheet how was you know the judgment and, and uh, that too um and then the assessment documentation some evidence and some additional stuff it takes it from a different things a different angle to 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 look at it and you know uh, then six um, is the feedback in the review? How was the feedback in the review done? And again, you can just put your comments in there. So this broken down in six. And then overall, we're going to look at our VAX again here, the principle of assessments. And you're going to say the evidence. How do you feel? Um, you know, was it valid and direct and authentic? And you can change it here with some, some overall feedback again. Page number 10 is now your your final detail you can put your companies or your name in there your contact detail and you can say listen i'm very happy with the assessment process there's a drop down or i have some concerns re regarding it there's your overall you know after everything don't go and write a summary you know sorry a detail here it's a short summary this overall what is your feeling about the 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 outcome of this moderation in there because before um, these uh, previous pages, we already bulleted every single thing that we've seen. You know, when you were writing green pen, you, you typed it over here. Okay, so we are we going to give some overall feedback there. And we're going to say, yeah, yes, we uphold the assessor's decision or we don't. Okay, and that's basically where you stop. That That is going to be your last page. Page number 10 is where you stop. Now you're giving it this document back to the training provider. And the assessor will now have time to look at your feedback and then say, listen, here, yeah, I have received feedback. Um, 
Um, but you know, okay, I'll, I see what I've done wrong. I will make sure I'm doing it correct for the next one. And then the next one is the training provider. That, then it goes to the training provider and can say, listen, yeah, a feedback was given to the CSA. He knows, but oops, there's some stuff that the moderator found that we also need to fix. So they make their comments uh, in here, and that is the actual report then uh, goes on top of the actual assessment. So the actual assessment the documents and all the evidence is at the bottom. This moderation report is right at the top. You actually don't have to include the first document. Is this our planning? The, the document, the actual internal moderation starts here with the second page. Um, and that's how you're going to give it back to the actual training provider.